a pastor wants to sue the NFL over this year's Super Bowl halftime show. Dave Daubenmeyer is a former high school football coach in Ohio and current Christian pastor. He took to Facebook to share his thoughts. It's okay if I say it, I, grown, grown audience here. If you want to go ahead right now and share this because I think this is important. Uh, I saw a lot of crotch shots. The Sunday halftime show featured musical guests Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. My local cable company, I don't, I don't know who all we would sue, but sue as many people as we want to for pandering pornography. Maybe that's not the right charge. I'm not a lawyer. Contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Dalvin Meyer argues that it's about the innocent children who had to watch the quote, porn show. In the late 1990s, Dalvin Meyer was sued by the ACLU for mixing prayer with his coaching at a public school. All right, let's bring back tonight's A-plus panel, Lisa Durden, social commentator, and Bob Bianchi, former prosecutor, now defense attorney. Lisa, I'll start with you. Uh, to me, the fact that he was sued by the ACLU, I say good on him. I'm, I'm with him on you should be able to pray at the end of a football game. That said, seems a little over the top to call it porn. I, I, you <laughs> know, look, that part. Look, I, I'm not a huge NFL fan. No, right, um, neither am I. <laughs> uh, the, everything I saw, though, there was a lot of dry humping going on, crotch grabbing. A lot of people thought it was a little over the top. I mean, this, this coach is not the only one. I mean, this is nothing new these days. People are twerking and dropping it like it's hot. You know, I don't understand why this pastor thinks that we need to include church and state. They're supposed to be separated. The separation of church and state. This man's an idiot. So, Bob, <laughs> maybe the takeaway here is we need less dry humping on television. I, I don't know. It I seems might go like with that. the pole dancing, the dry humping. I, I, I get why people are over the top. I mean, it's, it, to, to me, though, uh, does the guy make a good point or is he just looking for attention? Well, I, I don't think given today's standards, as right. Lisa says, um, <laughs> that you're going to get jurors that are going to sit there and right. say this is a violation of law. I don't think you're going to be able to get to do and that. But I will say this. It doesn't necessarily mean there's a big difference between a lack of decorum yes. and a, a violation of a law. I, I thought it was it was right. a crappy halftime show anyway. I mean, you go back. There's, there have been some really yeah. outstanding yeah. halftime shows. I just didn't think this one if was. If this goes forward, it's going to be a know. nuisance lawsuit. It's just going to be stupid. Right. But you know what? They'll settle. <laughs> Those companies are selling. I was going to say, somebody may get a check, they, right? They, they won't sell because they did anything wrong. They'll sell just not to have to continue to have the negative publicity. And that video's clickbait right. for sure. <laughs> Thanks, guys.